Hey you guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for hopping on with me and clicking on this video. So you clicked on this video because you wanna know why the hell can't they leave you alone and why do they keep coming back? Now, let's get into it. But before I get into it, make sure, if you're new to this channel, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and you're also hitting that little notification bell so every time I post up new videos, you'll get notified that I put up a new video and to stay inspired and motivated. So with that being said, the reason why the narcissist always keeps coming back is because you are their supply, right? They look at you as like an object that they enjoy, they like, and it brings happiness and joy to them in the sense of they just want that access to you. They just want to feel that they can pick you up and drop you whenever they feel like it. It's like imagine having when you were a child, you you got a toy and you were super excited for that toy. You had that toy and you're just like, yes, I have this toy. I'm so super excited. But then when you don't feel like playing with it anymore, you put it down. So you're happy in that moment. But then when that toy no longer is filling that happiness with inside you're like and you get bored of it you put it down and you move to another toy and honestly i know it's sickening to think about it but that's exactly how the narcissist looks at their supplies it's like you're this shiny toy that they can play with and put down and pick up whenever they feel like it so i learned at the end of the day it after 18 years of being in a narcissistic abusive relationship, I learned I was just this shiny toy that this person loved to play with and put back down. And when I the the toy was acting up and they and they would get frustrated that the toy was not making them feel good, making them happy, they'll get frustrated. They'll gaslight you. They'll lie to you. They'll manipulate you. They'll, you know, put you put you down, say, say mean things. So then that way they don't have to deal with that toy whenever they feel like it. And I say this as you're a toy at, because at the end of the day, they play with your emotions. They play with your mind. They play with your life basically narcissists so I had to realize it's like this person does not have empathy of like a normal person of a normal person it does this person does not think they think very very much so and this is why I'm you know talking about us like toys to the narcissist because they think very much so like a child they're very um childish right in the sense that they're they'll again act out they'll pick you up put you down you know if you're if you're pissed if you're getting them upset they throw a tantrum right this is why i'm saying supply to the narcissist is literally you're like a toy they do not have empathy like how you think and want them to have empathy they think differently. They feel differently. This is why they can't leave you alone. Because at the end of the day, imagine a, a spoiled child. They cry. They kick. They scream. And they do everything possible to keep convincing you, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. And that child will not stop asking for what it is that they want. Because they don't understand right from wrong they think differently right so it's the same thing with a narcissist imagine a grown adult but as a child that does not understand right from wrong they don't think normally right they think in the sense of i want it now and that's it they don't care about your emotions they don't care what they need to do to get what they want from you like I said, you are basically like an object to them. So they're not thinking the way that we think. So I'm giving you guys these tips for you guys to break it down, to understand your circumstance, to see 
and analyze your situation to see if you're dealing with a narcissist with how this how your ex or how your current relationship is and how this person is acting towards you are they literally treating you like a toy like an object right i have an amazing tiktok channel you guys and a lot of people are leaving comments saying that how this person can't leave me alone like they block me 25 times unblock me then message me like everything's normal because at the end of the day again the narcissists do not see things the way you see things so you may be feeling sad anxiety frustration on you know that person disregarding you to them it's a game right remember child childlike thoughts to them it's like a game i'm gonna put that toy down and whenever i feel like it i know that it's there i'm gonna pick it up and i'm gonna play back with you whenever i feel like it but for now i don't want to play with you so i don't want to touch you i don't want to see you you're just in the corner and that's kind of like how the narcissist disregards his supply right if you're a girlfriend, if you're a boyfriend, this is why they can literally pick you up and put you back down whenever they feel like it without any remorse. Because again, the narcissists think out of ego, right? They just want that supply to feed their ego. When, when their ego is fed, they really don't really need anything from you. Hence why a lot of times narcissists can move on like this. Because remember, again, you were just a supply. When they can find another supply that can give them the needs that they want, just like how you were doing it, then they disregard you, right? A lot of times people wonder, like, why is it that this narcissist can block me and then unblock me? Because again, they look at you like an object. I want it. I don't want it. I want it. I don't want it. And a very like child man a childlike mentality right so if you're sitting there and you're wondering to yourself like man why did this person block me like wh how can they not care to like not see me not touch me not want to talk to me because they don't think like you do they think in the sense of i want her or him and i don't want her or him whenever i feel like it i know that they're there so literally if you keep giving them that supply they will keep dropping you and picking you up like an object like a little toy whenever they feel like it and throw then throw tantrums whenever they feel like it when you don't give them what they want when you don't feed in to their supply and what they are looking for and what they're seeking from you so again this is why they won't leave you alone because they look at you as like a shiny object that they pick up and put back down. And they're expecting that when they put you down, they're able to pick you back up whenever they feel like it. For example, me and my narcissist were together for 18 years. He has a new supply. And I it took me a really long time to heal and work on myself. So I used to cry to him, message him, ask him, why are you doing... I didn't know nothing about narcissistic abuse. So it was only till later on that I started to educate myself little by little to understand what is narcissism. I, I, I noticed the traits and I put two and two together and I realized that he was a narcissist. But at the end of the day, I was crying. I was begging for him. I was asking him, what does she have that I don't have? Like, I don't understand why you don't want to be with me and all of this other stuff. And it literally was just feeding him. He was like playing with my emotions. Like he felt, oh, I miss you, but then I don't miss you. Oh, and then he would block me and then unblock me. Then he would call me 10 times, then not answer any of my calls, even though he has a new supply. And even though when he feels that I'm moving on and I'm okay, he'll do anything to find out what's going on with my life. Ask my daughter. Or he would message me randomly at 12 o'clock at night. No matter what, even if this person that you're talking talking about that won't leave you alone has another person and they are a narcissist and they have a new supply, they still won't leave you alone. Even if that new supply is doing everything for them and they're doing everything for, for that other person. 
it does not matter they look at everybody in their lives those objects that they shiny objects that they can pick up and put back down and the only way that you can stop this this is another tip is setting healthy boundaries right that's the only way you can stop that person from picking you up and cu- putting you down and walking in and out of your life whenever they feel like it. Hey, this doesn't even have to be a narcissist. This can also be like a a, a partner that feels like they just have you. They have a one up on you. So they feel like they can come and walk in your life whenever they feel like it. The only way that you can handle those types of people is setting healthy boundaries. People are going to only use you to the, I mean, treat you the best of the ability, first of all, and how they know how. Second of all, they will only keep treating you on to the extent that you're allowing them to. I always tell everybody in all my videos, it all starts with you. It all starts in how you, how are you allowing other people in this world to treat you? Because at the end of the day, the only person that can help you is you. And the way you can help you is by loving yourself and setting healthy boundaries with every everybody in this world. It does not have to mean with the narcissist alone. It does not have to mean with just that ex. It means everybody. Knowing your value and knowing your worth, stop saying it but actually making actions towards it. And, and knowing who do you want to allow to have access to you, right? You are God's greatest creation. If you're listening to this and you're a man, you're a king. If you're listening to this, you're a woman, you're a queen. We are all kings and queens in our own ways. But it's are we treating ourselves that way? It has nothing to do with other p- people. It has to do with how we treat ourselves. So again, people are going to treat you the best in the way you're treating yourself. So if you're giving them access to you, even though that you know that they are manipulative, they're lying, they're, they're, they're gaslighting you, they're treating you like shit, but you're allowing to entertain conversations, even conversations with the narcissist, everything needs to be short sweet and to the point if you have kids with them if you do not have kids with them there's no need for you to continue having contact with them not even as friends Uh, trust me I used when I first started off my healing journey I used to think okay maybe we could just be friends right but no they only want supply from you they want to know your business they want to know what you're doing they want to control you they want to manipulate you they want to gaslight you whenever they feel like it if you're not feeding into their ego and it's like just stopping and prolonging your your progress for you to grow and for you to move on. Narcissists will never ever let you move on because it's all about control for them and it's all about their ego, right? When they see that you finally move on, that's just a big bruise to their ego feeling that they do not have access to you and they do not have supply from you anymore, which frustrates them because it's all about Remember what I said, like a little kid's mental mentality. I want it. I want it now. I want I want to play with it whenever I feel like it. I want it to be there. It's like a spoil. Look at a, a grown adult with a childlike mentality. That's a spoiled brat who feels like they want their way all the time. And literally, that's how narcissists think. You can't change it. It is who they, that is who they are. And in the only thing that you can change is putting your foot down to set healthy boundaries to not let that, that person walk in and out of your life whenever they feel like it because it won't stop. No matter how much you, you know, you do good for yourself, no matter, you know, that's that honestly, I feel like when they start seeing you do good for yourself, that's when they start coming around even more, right? Checking up on your social media, um, asking family members about you, asking friends about you, you know, it's like at the end of the day, they energy is powerful. They feel that detachment. So the more you obsess, the more you think about this person, the more you're, you're feeding into them, you're also, like, like I said, causing that attachment to stay attached. And you're not allowing yourself to detach from that person and from that situation. The only way that you can detach is focus on you. And when you keep focusing on you, eventually that attachment will subside and you'll be able to move forward and you wouldn't even think about why they keep coming back, right? And I had to give you, I'll give you guys another tip. At the end of the day, I had to really realize that a lot of times they keep coming back into our lives because we keep being like, um, we keep being like a magnet that kind of keeps attracting that type of energy. But when you level up, 
you'll see you'll start to attract different type of energy, right? So it's so important to let your ego go because a lot of times that us on the other side, when we see the narcissist coming back, trying to come back inside of our life or an ex trying to come back, we're like, mm, they know what they're missing. They, they, they know what they missed out. They know what they lost. And our egos starts to rise. And we start to be like, hmm, I want to see what this person is talking about. Maybe I'll let them back in my life. Maybe I want to, and you want to glow and you want to get the attention. I was like that. And be it, admit it with yourself. I'm pretty sure there's some people out there that when the narcissist comes back, they want, they know what you want. So they're going to prey on everything to make you feel good so they can have access to you. And I was one of those people. So that the, the, literally the narcissist knows everything you want and will come just feed your ego. I miss you. You were the best person ever. You know, there's no one else like you. I, I messed up. I tried to go out there. They know what you want to hear. And it's up to you to put your foot down and not let them back in your life because they're going to come back and they're going to do the same patterns and the same things into your life that they did before. The only way you can stop them from coming in and out of your life and stop them at their tracks is setting healthy boundaries. Knowing what does boundaries look for look like for you. Because at the end of the day, boundaries can be different for other people. Boundaries is all about knowing what areas inside of your life that you need to set boundaries with others these people or people in general maybe you're too kind so you need to set healthy boundaries on how much you you give your time and energy to certain people inside of your life maybe maybe you love too hard maybe you need to learn how to set healthy boundaries to say hey I love me first before I love anybody else and that's what I mean about understanding what are your boundaries and then learning how to set healthy boundaries in your life for you and that's how you can stop them from coming back. And, and I gave you great tips on why these narcissists keep coming back. And I gave you great tips on how you can stop them from coming back and take back your power. Because at the end of the day, that's all they want to do. It's like they're blood-sucking vampires that just want to drain you of your power, drain you of your energy to build their ego, their energy, and ha them have power over you. Nah, you a king, you a queen. You got that power right in your hands so hold on tight to it and don't allow them to keep stealing your power because only like i said it all comes down to you only you and only you have control to stop the manipulation the lies the gaslighting them abusing you mentally emotionally who knows physically only you have the power to stop it so at the end of the day knowing the reason why they keep coming back Knowing how you can stop them from coming back is how you can get back your power. And I gave you all those tips. Take it from me, 18 years of being abused mentally, emotionally, physically to the point where now I have back my power and I will never ever give it away to anybody ever again. I know my boundaries. I know my worth. And I know, I know that I will never let this person to walk back in my life whenever they feel like it right? I hope I'm making this video around the New Year's, you guys. I hope that this this video inspires you, motivates you to take these tips and move different with these people in the new year. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you guys found amazing value. Make sure that you guys are subscribing to the channel and make sure that you're staying tuned by hitting that notification bell. So every time I post a video, you're getting notified. Join the Wise Up, Rise Up community, you guys. This is a movement I'm starting to empower, help empower people to become more wiser about their situations to rise up because it's only you becoming wiser in your situations is the only way that you'll be able to grow mentally and emotionally to become a better better person so i'm gonna leave all the links in the comments go check out my tiktok account it's growing rapidly a lot i give a lot of relationship advice on there go check out you guys my facebook group to join the community to stay inspired and motivated it's called the wise up rise up facebook group i drop podcasts every thursday different content from youtube so if you can't watch the videos at least you can listen to it it's on anchor it's on spotify it's called the wise up rise up podcast Join the community so we can all grow 
to the best damn version of herself. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I'll see you guys again on another video. Take care and have a happy New Year's.